Okay, the next and probably final sort of electronic y sort of thing for this project is to get a power supply for the 12 volt fan. Now, the battery, as you know, is going to run between 19.2 and I think 25.4 volts from fully discharged to fully charged. So, we need to go from that higher voltage down to um, the 12 volts for the fan. This is a DC to DC converter, a couple of bucks from eBay. Um, just a little pot on there to get the right output. So all we need to do is get some wires on the input and get it set up. Nicely in there. Let's actually poke it through the hole first. That's great. Bring the finished battery in somewhere and careful with this battery because there's going to be a bit of a kick in it if it um, ever manages to short anything out. So let's just grab a bit of uh, tape. I like that. Stop things shorting out. So in negative, in positive. Got it the right way around this time. Oh, and we have a little LED. How about that? Okay. Okay, 17 volts. Make it a little bit easy for myself. Get your hand out of the way. Here we go. Still see that. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. Now, uh, what should we go down to? So, 12 volts is the fan rated, but this is under no load, so look, uh, I'm not. I think I'm just going to go with 13 and see how we get from there. A bit more space. And we've got the fan unit and positive and negative. Let's just connect up. The negative. Quick check to see everything's okay. That sounds fine. Now I'm interested to know what the current draw on this is. So
70 milliamps. Let's just check that in. Ah, sorry, that was the amps, of course, yes. Mm. Yep, 70 milliamps. So not very much, that power supply is not going to be doing anything, don't need any heat sink or anything like that. I forget what the rating for these, I mean it's a Chinese rating of course, um, but I, I think it's something like 4 or 5 amps. Um, so it's hardly ticking over, I could have gone for a much smaller one but it just happens to be what I've got in my uh, parts box at the moment and uh, she will be right mate. Right, just as a, a little aside I've decided to swap this uh, tie wrap here for a metal tie and actually to put two in. I've done the two on this leg if you can see. And I just filed a little groove in the plastic there so that the metal won't slide up and down. The reason I've done that is because looking on the end this was just protruding into the tube and it was making it very hard to, to get the assembly in and out. It should really just slip in nicely. And also, I don't know whether you can see this on the camera, yeah, maybe, um, the blades do run fairly close and I'd, I'd got this clip out of the way. I was sort of worried that the clip down here that might actually interfere with the blade, so a thinner piece of wire I think is a, a more practical solution. to mount up the power supply and taking advantage of the fact that the fins are running in this direction and the airflow should be in this direction I think I'm going to go with just a simple arrangement again using some wire just to hold this in position or have in position wire by the way is uh, 0 0.71 millimeter copper wire 22 gauge AWG So where to put this, we need battery voltage coming in, but I know the battery voltage is coming into this power supply on the left hand uh, two terminals here, so I think I can probably double up. As I said, I'm not worried about this warming up at all, it's hardly drawing anything. So I think if I've got that in there, and trim these back and put the outputs on here, then I'll probably just uh, put this in some heat shrink tubing and um, maybe just leave it hanging in the breeze there or maybe one tire up around this, uh, this wiring limb so it can sit in the bottom of the PVC pipe. Yeah, I think that'll do.
shitting me. I hate it when that happens. Birds are bloody noisy, bloody cockatoos, don't know what it is, this time of year they just go crazy. Man, they might be pretty to look at but they're not very pretty to listen to. Okie doke, let's test again. on some dodgy polarity. Now you're not going to touch each other are you? No sir, no sir. Negatory. Protection. Protection from smart sparks. Smart sparks. Okay, double check, double check. Negative, negative, positive, positive. Am I positive? Oh! Oh, sorry. Nerves! Oh, so the capacitors are drawing in a, a nice current when they start up. So, running off the battery, power supply in, I can see my little red light on. There, you can probably see it reflected in my fingers. And, a bit of the thing's pointing to the ground. Whoa! Cool. Really coming together now. Just have a quick look to see that this all slips in the tube still. It's going to look pretty red faced if it doesn't. You know, it's getting a little bit bulky down there, but um, that's alright. And I can still tie wrap things up a bit. Come on. Get in there. Where are you going? You're going there too as well. Down the hall. No, sir. Don't send me down the hall. tight. Okay, pokes out the back there. Hmm. Not, not too shabby. It looks a bit of a dog's breakfast but uh, I think it uh, what it lacks in um, visible will make up for in operational. Let's pop these back on again. Red positive, black negative. Black negative. And wait for it, Simon, wait for it. Oh, I don't like they were doing it. Some of that flicker. That's no problem. Oh, 
prepare to be blinded. Cool. Another stage done.